I'm sorry. Did I wrap it too tightly? It's fine. I'm fine. See? I can swing it like this and it doesn't even... I knew it. Thanks. I feel much better now. I'm sure that's Nia's poultice doing its job. Thanks. Pyra, you hurt too. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Hey, let me help. Thank you, Rex. No worries. Least I can do. There, all done. How's that? Hmm. Looks good. Um, Rex? Look, they're the same. Oh. Uh, yeah? I guess they are. <laughs> Probably because you made it, Pyra. Huh? Um, no. What? I didn't mean it like that. You're just, um, really good at making fires. That's all. It's what I do. Welcome home, Jin. Hey, Akos. I hear the Aegis awakened. Nasty shock for you? Or was it? Of course, my script showed how everything would play out from the start. Sure, you say that once it's all over and done with. It's easy to act smug when hindsight's on your side. Shut your mouth, Abrona. I'm shaking to my core. Where are the other two? Mikhail's inspecting the Ardanian factory. And my beloved sister is out hunting, as always. I'm sure she'll have found plenty of drivers to chew up and spit out by now. She likes to hunt, all right. Not sure we can use all of those core crystals, though. Do we know where the Aegis is right now? Have no fear, Jin. Of course we know her whereabouts. Abrona? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It seems they're currently traveling away from the urban area of Gormot. Leaving the town? But there's nothing out that way. Perhaps they're on their way out of Gormot itself. Oh, and... What? It seems a certain shipment has set out. 
The core crystals heading to Indol for cleansing, huh? How pious of them. Shall we handle them? I can deal with that myself. You concentrate on the Aegis. Understood. Well... I am looking forward to clapping eyes on the Aegis. By the way, what of Nia? You know where she is? Yes. Look, this dot here. Without a doubt, this is Dromark's wavelength. It seems they're traveling together with the Aegis. With the Aegis? Huh. Do as you see fit. Understood. You don't need to ask me twice. Right then. We're gonna take the Monoceros. As you wish. Hey. Don't do anything too reckless. What is that? A Cloud Sea Compass. A must-have for salvagers. It's sort of a map of the Cloud Sea. If you do this, and this... What's the date today? Um... A math October 5th, 4058. Okay. So now we put the date in. See? Oh, this is very clever. Looks like Gormot. Is the closest country to the World Tree right now? All we need is a ship. The army has every ship in town in its grip. <sighs> We're kind of stuck. Seems that way. Sorry, I'm no use now. I know, I know. But I'm all out of ideas. Rex Rex needs ship? <gasps> Tora, I have good idea! You do? There is shipbuilder living at Gormok Titan's Bum Bum. Old friend of Tora's Grampy Pon, he called Umon. Maybe he help if we tell him what's what. Sure, it's worth a shot. Let's get going. Hello? Umon! Umon! Where is Umon? Who is that? Who is noisy while I do my work? Tora! This big surprise! Long time no see, Uncle Pon. Yes, long time. About one whole year? Yes, about that. You became very big in one year, Tora. Yes, Tora not little Pon anymore. And Tora have lots of sidekicks. Rex Rex and friends are not Tora's sidekicks. They are real friends, Umon. Rex Rex, meet Uncle Pon Umon. He did great research with Grampy Pon. He is great builder of ships. Hello. Greetings. At your service. I see. Tora's friends. Tora has lots of friends. Very good. Tora has become fine, Biggie Pon. <laughs> well, Tora, did you need Uman's help for something? Well, we wanted to borrow a ship from Uncle Pon Uman. A ship? But there are lots of ships in Toragoth. Why hike all the way to Bum Bum to see me? Oh, um... Well... Tora run out of gold, hmm? Uh, yes. Tora spend all the gold on artificial blade. Tora flat broke, like penniless pancake. <laughs> I wanted to go on a little boaty jaunt to a uh, nearby place, but no money to go on boat. Hmm. I hope Tora can keep track of all these fibs he's telling. There's no other option. We can hardly tell him what happened in Toragoth, can we? Yeah, I guess you're right. So long as we get a boat out of this. 
Artificial blade, eh? Was this what Tora's Grampy Pon was working on? My name is Poppy. Pleased to meet Uncle Pon. Yes! This it! This pretty mighty! Tora take off to Grampy Pon indeed! Oh, well, uh, how can I refuse Tora now? Tora may use Uman's ship, but there is problem. W what is problem? You see, a ship not quite ready just yet. Not much left to do, but work stop because no building parts. That's the only problem. Correct. But that is big problem. Big like sea or mountain. You mean, all you need is some parts, then you can finish the ship? It just as you say, friend. So if we go and find the parts, then you'll... Of course! I make ship ready, then you borrow! Thank you! Come on, everyone. Let's go. Yay! Let's go find ship ingredients! So now we borrow Uncle Pond's boat! Thanks, Simon. We owe you! Indeed! Enjoy your boaty jaunt! So that's the World Tree. Whoa, well, I've never seen it so close before. Me neither, to tell you the truth. But it's just as awesome as it helped. The current's really strong. Falling that, and you're a goner. It's great that we made it this far, but how do we get over there? Any ideas? Pyro? We... Huh? Rex, we need to leave. We can't stay here. What? Why? What are you talking about, Pyra? Ophion! Dumb for. Huh? Is that Uriah's Titan? This is not good. Ah, here it comes.
Pyra? Anybody? Uh, I'm here. You hurt? No, I'm fine. Looks like we're all okay. Except for the fact that we now find ourselves in the belly of the beast. The beastie's belly? This is the inside of the Orion Titan. Meh, meh. Look! Tora think this not nice place. Is that how we're gonna end up? Hey, Rex, don't jinx us. Everyone, shouldn't we try to get out of here? If I recall, the Orions live towards the beast's back. There must be a way up there. Yeah. Can't hang around here for sure. Over there. Huh? Poppy sees something over there. Someone coming this way. For real? Maybe you're just seeing things. Poppy is certain. Something is flickering over there. Flickering? You say? Some kind of ghost, maybe? Shut up. There's no such thing. Nia, you're not scared, surely? D don't talk nonsense, Rex. I'm not a kid. You're scared. At last, something Nia's scared of. Just you watch. Hey. Where's... Pyra? What? Pyra's missing. Uh... But she was right here. Pyra? Pyra! Hey, what's up? Uh, uh, hey, what's the big idea? Don't wander off like that. Nothing, really. I was just taking a look around. What's the matter? <laughs> what's so funny? Oh... Nothing. Oh, Titan's fault. Oh, things are looking brighter already. Poppy can help too. Now even more brighter. You two are certainly earning a keep. Oh, I wish I could say the same for old Dromark here. Apologies, my lady. See? Not so scary when you can actually see. Let's find the exit. Yeah! yeah! There's some kind of dim light. If I remember, the Orion Titan has a translucent hide. I bet that'll be the light filtering through. So, the Titan must be above the clouds now. I dare say. If we can make it to the source of the light, maybe we'll find a way out of here. Hold it! Looks like a bunch of mushes I ain't seen yet. You gotta have pretty damn bad luck ending up in a titan's guts like this. Huh? That blade! An emerald core crystal. <laughs> so, the rumors are true. Huh? What rumors? The tale that every driver worth his salt knows. The legendary Aegis. Folks been saying she just woke up from a 500-year nap. Wouldn't have thought she'd show up with a pencil neck shrimp like you for a driver, though. You think I don't have what it takes? No, I mean, maybe you could handle a normal blade. But a greenhorn like you, with a butte like her, don't kid yourself. Come on, boy. Hand her over to a grown-up. This crap is getting old. Leave her alone. 
You got heart, kid. I like that. You, Zuo, you take care of the others. I want to squash the kid. <laughs> Leave it to us, boys. We'll take real good care of him. What's the matter? Are you the Aegis, or aren't you? Huh? Something feels... different. This man, he's... That all you got, mate? Pathetic. We'll show you. We'll show you what me and Pyra are made of. He dodged. Of course I did, kid. Any slower, you'd bore me to death. How about this, then? <laughs> Rex! Wait! I can't supply power this fast! Nowhere left to run. Eat this! Huh? Playtime's over. Take this. Uh -huh. <laughs> if you're a driver, you're a new one for sure. Drivers, see? We borrow our blade's energy, channel it into our weapons, and let rip with an art. But you gotta be careful. There's a limit to it. If you go in all bullheaded like that, kid, even that Aegis of yours is gonna run out of energy before long. What? What? Huh? Huh? The name's Van Dam. I run a little firm out of the nearby village. Uh, firm? Come on! I'll treat you to some grub. As thanks for letting me take a whack at the legendary Aegis. <laughs> Just then, I realized while we were fighting, I sensed from the very start that he didn't mean us any real harm. Hmm, he sure is a strange old goat, that one. Hell of a story. So you headed to the World Tree to reach Elysium, but got swallowed up whole instead. You got some crazy luck. So, uh, what were you doing back there, then? You know this Titan? It ain't too fussy about what it eats. I went down there to see if anything we might need in the village washed up. But mostly I only found your sorry mushes. Yeah, sorry about that. Here we are. Welcome to Garfont. Ain't much but it's home. The village has a lot of children. Lots of drivers and blades here, too. We're in the business of dispatching drivers and blades all across the world. Most of the kids are war orphans. Took them in while on the job. So you're saying that you take them under your wing. Just till they're able to make it by themselves. Some of them might grow up to be drivers, like ourselves. But then others might become tailors. Doesn't matter what they want to do with their lives. We leave it up to them to decide. Aye, us justice busters just want to help. Good eggs, huh? You said it. I've been called worse. Come on, let's eat. All this egg talk's making me hungry. I'm going to get some water. Van Dam? Cheers, love. Give me a beer. Beer? Coming right up. What's up? The grub don't suit you? 
So, do you fight in wars too, Van Damme? You got a problem with mercenaries? Are you trying to get us to join up? Ha! <laughs> Shrimps like you? We're not that desperate. Relax. Okay. Good to know. Hmm. Rex. You're a salvager, ain't you? Yeah. You must have fished out your share of military supplies, right? You're fine with that? Nah, I don't want to get involved with it. It's all the same. Compasses, valves for Retha stoves. Armies need all these things. That bread you're eating, it's made from Ruska flour, supplied by the Ardanian government. This world's full of war. Don't matter if you're a soldier or not. As long as you're alive, you're in the war, some way or another. Don't you think? Um, I'm... Life can be cruel. Crueler than you know. That's why I set up this little band, so I could protect the people I care about. Rex, you're the driver of the Aegis. The whole world's gonna try and scalp you. You realize that? How are you gonna live when you've got everyone gunning for you? It'd be easy to run. All you need to do is ditch that girl. <sighs> hmm. Come on! Gotta get ready! What? Where are we going? Just follow me, kid! We just got a job to go check out some kind of crazy energy effect. Somewhere up around the blowhole. What do you say? Fancy being a mercenary for a day? Um, okay. But, I mean, we don't work for free. Don't worry, kid. You'll get paid. An ether miasma. Take it, this is your first one. Ether miasma? It's a load of poisonous waste products spewed from the Titan's gut. You know, when you get gassy? Kinda like that. Um, is there a way through this thing? I can't see any way around it. Hey, no fear. Rock, mate! You're up! My asthma's died down. <laughs> yep, nothing to it. Let's roll! An Arden. Just what we need. Rex, any good with that anchor? Yeah, I get by. And that here. Now watch. I never thought of using it that way. The trick is to pull it toward at just the right moment. Now you try. You got it after seeing it once. 
Not bad, kid. Hey. <laughs> Listen up, kid. Drivers use arts. But that doesn't just mean using the powers your blade gives you. There are arts that use your own strength or take advantage of your enemies. There are all sorts. A driver's job is to be smart with his arts and protect his blade. Protect my blade? Yeah. It's a two-way thing, kid. You gotta be aware of the power coming out of her. Don't waste it. Channel it through your arts and protect her. If you can do that, then you're a true driver, kid. A true driver? I don't know. Am I ready? Course you are. That thing from before... Took me five years to learn that. Five years? Yeah, but you saw it once, and then you aced it like it was nothing. And you got Nia and Tora in tow. Those guys are pretty handy. Kid, you got a bright future. I think I'm gonna spew. Biggie Pond has scary face, but he very nice. <laughs> Suss me out, Furry Pond. Like I thought. A titan? So that weird power effect they clocked. Maybe this is the cause. Yeah, sure looks like it. I'll hazard it wasn't death by old age either. Might have been an accident. On the other hand, it might have been attacked. Seems like this Titan dying off has stirred up something else. The blade returned to its core. So that monster was in resonance with the blade. Tora cannot resonate. Stinky monster can resonate. Not fair. But. Master Pond have Poppy. Oh, Poppy! <laughs> if a blade loses its driver, it winds up like this. So, is it like dead? Nah. The crystals start glowing again after a bit of time. Then a new driver can resonate with it. But... There's a bot? Its memory will be totally zapped. It'll be reborn as a new blade. Won't remember a thing. Yeah? That's pretty rough. To have all your past wiped out like that. But memories can be... painful as well. They can be a terrible burden. And a blade can live forever, as long as the crystal exists. It's just as well. Eternity is a long time to collect bad memories. Pyra. I'm sorry. I was just thinking, sometimes being able to forget is a blessing. Come on. Let's get finished up here. That's... A core crystal! What? Well, that's where they come from. Out of Titans. This one's brand new and ready to resonate. Like a big steak, right before you take that first bite. It'll probably end up buddying up with a bunch of drivers. Every time the driver dies, it'll forget everything and return to its core. Eventually, it'll resonate with a new driver. Drivers dying. Titans dying. The blade just keeps on living through it all. It's a never-ending cycle. 
an eternal history. As mortals, we'll never be able to understand. It's incredible. Could her old driver still be alive somewhere? Perhaps. You were a tough salvager, Rex. Give me a break. Pain is pain, isn't it? How about you? Are you hurt? Don't worry. It's just a scratch. Ah, ah, ah. That was on purpose. You were hurting me on purpose, weren't you? Well... I wasn't. Honest. I was just rubbing the lotion in. Rex, you rubbed it too hard. Ah. It hurts. Hey, See? you two. Give me a look at that. seen this before. Don't know why a blade would be stuck with a bunch of wounds. And they're exactly the same as Rex's. Incredible. Never heard of such a thing. It's all true. I just thought it was an accessory. Van Damme, that's not my style. Blades are supposed to heal up right away, no matter what the wound. If the crystal's in one piece and the driver's alive, nothing can touch them. So why is she all bashed up? That's just how the ships fell. It is what it is. What it is is a problem. It means if one of you kicks the bucket, you both do. You told me that a good driver always protects his blade. So that's what I'll do. I'm going to protect her. Easier said than done, kid. Listen, Pyra, she saved my life, brought me back from the dead. So I won't die again. I've got to live for her sake until we get to Elysium, at least. We can make it together. Rex, you mean? Going to Elysium? I can't let that stand. It won't do. A bunch of amateurs stealing the show? The script exists for a reason. Akos. Please speak only when you're spoken to, traitor. Traitor, traitor, traitor! Nia, you're one of the baddies now, you villain. <laughs> I didn't betray anyone. Then why do you stand with them? You think that is where you belong? But I... I... <laughs> Who are these goons? Torna. They're trying to get their hands on Pyra. Torna? Akos, just tell us what you're here for. Well, the Aegis, of course. I just had to come and see the leading lady with my own eyes. Jin put you up to this. Well deduced. Oh, by the way, his orders were to deal with you in whatever manner I see fit. So, you know what that means. He would You're lying! Why the surprise? Did you think he would still care about you? Oh, to live in your reality. How? Well, well. Your part in this play is coming to an end. So, time for you to shuffle off the stage. What's wrong? I know the name Torna. They 
They've taken the lives of too many drivers, including some of my crew, good people. Rumor says it's because they're collecting core crystals. So, if this Akos is one of them, you, Zuo, get everyone out of the village. Yes, sir. You ready? Ready. Got it. Thanks for this. No problem. It'll be tough. His blade's Bruna. She can manipulate the ether in the air. It lets him counter elemental attacks by generating fields for the opposing element. Finally! A decent opponent for a change! Let's go! Such an honor! Sharing a stage with the legendary Aegis! with the driver it seems that they're taking each other's damage somehow ah so that means that the aegis is a mere mortal right now in that case a little more damage and she'll be easy to deal with <gasps> Kids these days, I swear. Can't leave you alone for a minute. Could you use a hand? Leave it to me. I'll take this dog down! Oh. to deflect now you and your fancy moves you lack grit just too many of these bit players my interest is winged abrona perhaps it's time for another tale oh, sure sure Tr How is she? She's not badly hurt. Dromark thinks she just needs rest. That's good to hear. Maybe. I used too much power again. Hey, Rex. Hmm? Know what the difference is between me and that Akos fella? Well, he's a bad guy trying to get Pyra. And you're... No. <laughs> Thanks for the vote of confidence, kid. What if I told you that we weren't that different? Huh? My crew at the village, we think we're fighting for justice. But a just fight? I'm telling you now, there's no such thing. What people call justice, it's just an excuse to fight. War is war. The more you stand up for yourself, the more people want to fight you. Before you know it, you're in a war. Listen, all I'm saying is, we've got our fight, and he's got his. But what he's doing is... Yeah, it's bad. But war ain't about right and wrong. Power. That's all it is. And power can take many different forms. It depends on the heart of its wielding. If we don't use our power, just because we're scared of it, we're done for. As for who's right and who's wrong, no one knows for sure. 
So all we can do is protect what's important. I think I understand. We all got our own war, kid. My... war? Good morning. Pyra, feeling better? Yeah, I slept so much. Good. Glad to hear. Also, Nia's got something to talk to you about. She does? Yeah. Go ahead, Nia. Uh, um, I... Rex, I want you to come help me. Um, come where? To Van Damme. I need to tell him about my past with Akos and all that lot. Ah, sure. If you'd like me to, I will. Thanks. Nia originally said she was going to go alone, but I said maybe it'd be better if you went along too. Uh, maybe I should explain. Van Tam, he kind of scares me a bit. Ha <laughs> ha, I get it. Well, I am looking forward to clapping eyes on the Aegis. By the way, what of Nia? You know where she is? Yes. Look, this dot here. Without a doubt, this is Dromark's wavelength. It seems they're traveling together with the Aegis. With the Aegis? Huh. Do as you see fit. Understood. You don't need to ask me twice. Right then. We're gonna take the Monoceros. As you wish. Hey. Don't do anything too reckless. What is that? A Cloud Sea Compass. A must-have for salvagers. It's sort of a map of the Cloud Sea. If you do this, and this... What's the date today? Um... A math October 5th, 4058. Okay. So now we put the date in. See? Oh, this is very clever. Looks like Gormot. Is the closest country to the World Tree right now? All we need is a ship. The army has every ship in town. <sighs> I'm sorry. Did I wrap it too tightly? It's fine. I'm fine. See? I can swing it like this and it doesn't even... <laughs> I knew it. Thanks. I feel much better now. I'm sure that's Nia's poultice doing its job. Thanks. Pyra, you hurt too. Are you okay? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. Hey, let me help. Thank you, Rex. No worries. Least I can do. There, all done. How's that? Looks good. Um, Rex? Look, they're the same. Oh. Uh, yeah? I guess they are. Down <laughs> in its grip. <sighs> We're kind of stuck. Seems that way. 
Sorry, I'm no use now. I know, I know. But I'm all out of ideas. Rex Rex needs ship? <gasps> Tora, I have good idea! You do? There is shipbuilder living at Gormok Titan's Bum Bum. Old friend of Tora's Grampy Pon, he called Umon. Maybe he help if we tell him what's what. Sure, it's worth a shot. Let's get going. Hello? Umon! Umon! Where is Umon? Who is that? Who is noisy while I do my work? Tora! This big surprise! Long time no see, Uncle Pon. Yes, long time. About one whole year? Yes, about that. You became very big in one year, Tora. Yes, Tora not little Pon anymore. And Tora have lots of sidekicks. Rex Rex and friends are not Tora's sidekicks. They are real friends, Umon. Rex Rex, meet Uncle Pon Umon. He did great research with Grampy Pon. He is great builder of ships. Hello. Greetings. At your service. I see. Tora's friends. Tora has lots of friends. They're... Welcome home, Jin. Hey, Akos. I hear the Aegis awakened. Nasty shock for you? Or was it? Of course, my script showed how everything would play out from the start. Sure, you say that once it's all over and done with. It's easy to act smug when hindsight's on your side. Shut your mouth, Abrona. I'm shaking to my core. Where are the other two? Mikhail's inspecting the Ardanian factory. And my beloved sister is out hunting, as always. I'm sure she'll have found plenty of drivers to chew up and spit out by now. She likes to hunt, all right. Not sure we can use all of those core crystals, though. Do we know where the Aegis is right now? Have no fear, Jin. Of course we know her whereabouts. Abrona? Yeah, yeah. Hmm. It seems they're currently traveling away from the urban area of Gormot. Leaving the town? But there's nothing out that way. Perhaps they're on their way out of Gormot itself. Oh, and... What? It seems a certain shipment has set out. The core crystals heading to Indol for cleansing, huh? How pious of them. Shall we handle them? I can deal with that myself. You concentrate on the Aegis. Understood. So beautiful. Yeah, it really is. I guess that's probably because you made it, Pyra. <laughs> Um, no. What? I didn't mean it like that. You're just, um, really good at making fires. That's all. It's what I do.